Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from TechLoot.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable macOS USB install drive which works with any macOS version that you can think of, including macOS Monterey, the latest OS released by Apple. So, let's have a look. So in order to create the install drive, you need to have either a USB stick with at least of 16 gigabytes of storage, or you can do this with an extra hard drive, which can be either an HDD or an SDD, then you don't have to worry about the 16 gigabytes requirement because an external hard drive can have much more storage than 16 gigabytes. And in case if you don't have either of those lying around your house, that's absolutely fine because I've written a whole article showing you the best external hard drives which you can buy on 2021 on a budget. And if you're looking to buy an external, external hard drive, I highly encourage you to read this article. Furthermore, if you are looking for a USB stick, then I have links down in the description in order to choose the best USB stick in order to buy for you and also for any future use. And that being said, let's go straight on my screen in order to show you exactly how to create this installer drive, which you cannot wait to see. All right, guys, the number one thing that we have to do is to download the macOS installer, which we're going to use to create the bootable USB macOS installer drive. And for this purpose of this video, we're going to go and download the macOS Monterey because it's the latest major macOS release by Apple and it was released a few weeks ago. And if you're looking to download a previous macOS version, then Apple always tends to disappear the links in order to prevent you from downgrading to an older macOS version. But that's not a problem because I've created an article for this video which includes all the previous macOS versions links in case you want to create a USB bootable with a previous macOS link. So here in my article, there's a link down in the description to open it. Scroll all the way down and here you can find all the links that are available. In, in our case, we're going to go ahead and download the macOS Monterey 12 installer link. So we're going to click on the App Store link here. It's going to take you to this page, open an App Store. And there you go. But what if you want to use macOS Big Sur instead? No problem. We're going to go back to the article and then choose macOS Big Sur 11, App Store link. Open to App Store. And there we go, you have macOS Big Sur. And this works with every other link that is included here. So we're gonna go back to the App Store and we're gonna go back to macOS Monterey and you need to click on Get. And because, because this is 12.1 gigabytes of size and it could take some time to download depending on your internet connection. But while it's downloading, we can actually move on to the next step, which is to format our USB stick. So now is the perfect time to plug in a USB stick to your computer and once it shows up here or you can go to finder and go to locations and you could see it right here and make sure that you don't have any files in your USB stick because by formatting it it's going to remove all of your files in it. So you need to make sure to move all your in a safe location perhaps maybe plug in an external hard drive and move these files in your external hard drive in order to keep them safe and not get them deleted permanently. So once you have copied all your files to your computer, then we're ready to move on to format the USB stick. So here in Finder, just go to Applications and just go all the way down where it says Utilities. That's one right here. And then here, Launch Disk Utility. And here you're going to see all the hard drives, all the storage devices which are connected to your computer. And that includes your USB stick and any other storage devices which are connected. For your safety, I highly advise you to disconnect any other storage devices that are connected, hard drives, SD cards, you name it. Make sure that they're all disconnected so you'll be able to distinguish your USB stick easier. And your USB stick should be included down in the external. So here. This is my USB stick and what you need to do right now is to click on Erase and choose a name. In my case, I'm going to name it as Monterey and for format, make sure it's macOS Extended Journal, just like that. 
and scheme makes reset as GUID partition map. Once you're done, then press on erase. And this process may take a few minutes to complete. Once done, then press on the done button and now the USB stick is ready. The last step is to copy the contents of the macOS Monterey or macOS Big Sur, whatever macOS you have downloaded to the USB stick. So how do we do this? It's very simple. Just close this utility and again from the finder, if you still have this window open, go on where it says terminal and double click on it. And here we need to go ahead and copy and paste a command that I have on my article. So again, open my article. That's the one. And then scroll all the way down. Scroll all the way down until you find how to create a bootable installer for macOS section. So it's, it's uh, section number three. And you need to copy paste this command right here. And this is for macOS Monterey. But if you have a different macOS downloaded, then you just scroll down here and copy and paste the command which corresponds with the macOS installer that you have just downloaded. So for example, if you downloaded the High Sierra uh, macOS installer, then you're gonna have to copy and paste this command. And to copy it, press on the keys Command and C on your keyboard. But in my case, I'm just gonna copy this because I have macOS Monterey installed. And I'm gonna go back to Terminal and I'm gonna copy and paste this. But before you continue, we need to change one more thing and that's the volume. So use your arrow keys to move back. So press on the left arrow key to move the cursor just like that and stop until the, the cursor key is in front of my volume. Uh, use backspace to delete my volume and you need to paste the name of your USB stick. And to see it, you're just gonna close this window and to the name of the USB stick is Monterey in my case but in your case could be something different so we're gonna type Monterey and one thing I want to mention is that if you have a space in the name so say it was something like just gonna do an example I'm running this window open say it was for example macOS macOS Monterey with a space then you'll have to do something like this. So macOS forward slash and space Monterey because terminal doesn't understand spaces in a path. So you have to use this forward slash in order to tell terminal that this is a path, it's still a path. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna stick with Monterey and I'm gonna press on enter. And you may be asked to enter your password, just enter your login password. And here's gonna ask you whether you want to continue. No problem, just press on Y, press enter. And now it's gonna erase your disk. So it's gonna do this one once more. And after the erasing process is done, then it's gonna make your disk bootable. So now it's copying the content of the macOS installer to your USB stick. And this is the method that's gonna take some time to do. So it's a perfect time to go ahead and drink a coffee or something because this could take some minutes before it's done. All right, so now the process is done. And as you can see, it's gonna say install media now available at volume slash install macOS Monterey. And this is of course the USB that we have used, which is a bootable macOS Monterey installer drive now. And if you're wondering what's inside the USB, then it's just the install macOS Monterey installer. So all you gotta do right now is to just inject it by just pressing on this icon right here. And the USB is out. And now you can unplug it and go ahead and install macOS Monterey or macOS Catalina or macOS Big Sur on any Mac that you can find in front of you. And of course, everything that is explained in this video is also written down on my article. And I have written more details in this article, so definitely go ahead and check it out. And I include some more stuff that you should be aware of, but I have included more commands here on the article, so you can go ahead and uh, copy and paste depending on what macOS version you uh, had to install. And of course, I have one more small step, which is showing you briefly how to use the USB stick. So it's very simple. You just take the USB stick, connect it to another computer, and if it uses the M1 chip, just hold down the power button 
while it turns on in order to access the startup manager and once you do that use your Irish keys to select a USB stick install macOS Catalina, Big Sur, Ma Monterey depending what macOS have you downloaded and it's going to take you to the recovery mode and then you need to follow these steps in order to install the macOS on this machine and that was a video for today guys I hope you found this helpful Please don't forget to let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. I know that I have mentioned some technical details which you might never have come across. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me down and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Furthermore, don't forget to share this video to your friends in order to help them to create an installer disk with any macOS that they have. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right next to it in order to be the first person to watch our latest videos. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm gonna see you to my next video.